Hello everyone, I am Dr. Kavita Kovi, Consultant Obstetrician, Aster Women and Children Hospital, Whitefield, Bengaluru. So today let's discuss about urinary tract infections in pregnancy. So is it important? Yes, it's very important to understand what happens in pregnancy, why urinary tract infections are very common. Nothing to be worried about, but it is a very common thing which happens in pregnancy and if we do not take care of properly, we may end up in trouble like you may have preterm deliveries, you may have kidney infection that is called pyelonephritis which is very serious again and you may have a small baby, an FGR baby. So you may start leaking early that is called PPRON or a premature rupture of membranes can happen at preterm stages. So taking care or understanding the urinary tract infections in pregnancy is very important. So first let's look at the physiology. What happens to your kidney, your ureter? Uh, or the bladder and the urethra during pregnancy. So during pregnancy, there is a hormone called progesterone which is increased. So what does progesterone do? Progesterone is pregnancy hormone. We generally use it as pregnancy hormone or call it pregnancy hormone. What does it do? It relaxes the muscle. The smooth muscles are relaxed. So generally, the ureter is made of smooth muscles. So because it is relaxed, so it does not do its job properly. There is a little bit of stagnation in the urine. So you can have future you, that you are more prone to urinary tract infections. So how do we go? What are the symptoms that you have? So you may have symptoms, you may not have symptoms. So if you have symptoms and come to the doctor, it's very easy for the doctor to take care of it. But if you do not have symptoms, also you can have urinary tract infection that is called as asymptomatic bacteriuria, right? So that the, I'll help you how to understand. Now coming to the symptoms, so what can you have? As such, pregnancy in pregnancy because the whole system is changed because you will have the pressure of the bladder or of the uterus on the bladder. You may have frequency in passing urine, which is also common for urinary tract infection. For a normal person who is not pregnant, uh, increased frequency have to be taken care of. But here, when in pregnancy, increased frequency may be common. But we we'll still ask for further questions like, do you have any burning in, when you're passing urine, or after you pass urine, the last few drops do not come out or they come out with severe pain that is called painful urination or if you see any kind of bleeding in the urine uh, in the urine so these are the symptoms which we uh, take into consideration otherwise generally what we do when you come to the outpatient departments is it all depends on the protocols so at first visit itself we may be doing your urine culture and sensitivity a routine urine test may not be able to give us any idea so the culture and sensitivity is very important so how, and how you collect urine for this sample is very important so it should be a clean catch midstream urine that means you should not touch the container inside you should always hold the container from outside. Do not touch the container anywhere around your vagina or the vulval parts. Please hold, once you pass a little bit of urine and then you hold a midstream urine. So that is called as, and we need hardly 5 to 10 ml. Before you do this process, please clean the area completely so that there is no fecal matter anywhere around because contamination is a very common uh, problem with the uh, uh, urine uh, culture test. Right. So when we have done the urine culture and sensitivity test and when we find the bacteria, the commonest ones are Escherichia coli, but there are certain other bacteria also. Uh, but the doctor decides how to treat you, when to treat you, what is the colony count, so you will have a discussion with her. So treating urinary tract infections in pregnancy is very important, identifying it and treating it. So you need to get a culture done once, once the doctor suggests you need to get a culture done. And don't be panicky that, you know, uh, I don't have any symptoms, still the doctor has put me on on uh, uh, medication. It, that is, as I told you, asymptomatic. You do not have any symptoms. Still in the urine, we will find the bugs. So we will have to treat you. If we do not, you end up with having preterm labors or you may have severe urinary tract infection later, which may lead to pyelonephritis. So now, it is also important that this urine culture reports are being uh, discussed with the neonatologist. That means the doctors who take care of the babies after the birth. 
right? There are certain bugs like Acinetobacter which can cause problems for the baby after birth. So discussing your urine culture, so especially when you have multiple UTIs in pregnancy, it's always better we talk to the neonatologist, explain to him what has happened during pregnancy, what are the medications that you have used, what are the uh, bugs or what are the bacteria that we have found in the urine, so that it, they give a, they know a preterm or they know the picture of what they are going to deal with. They can predict whether the baby can go into any kind of sepsis post birth or fevers or does the baby also have uh, you know any kind of problems because of the bacteria which you had carried in pregnancy. So what are the rules to you know uh, keep yourself safe? Drink adequate water and please frequent urination every two hours please go void and that's very important do not hold your bladder full it's important to adequately hydrate yourself and uh, you know void urine and in case of these symptoms you need to contact your doctor and especially the urine culture is very important in pregnancy where we try to find out about the bugs and to predict what happens in future so urinary tract infections can also be found out by ultrasound sometimes Times we found floaters in the bladder so a scan may also be advised to see if there are any stones or anything renal calliculi can be there so uh, uh, kidneys being slightly enlarged and hydroureters these are common in pregnancy but still we or if you are having frequent uh, urine tract infections we do look into it so uh, a good ultrasound uh, department is also existing in uh, Aster Whitefield and we do take urinary tract infections very seriously in pregnancy and all precautions should be taken to avoid urinary tract infections in pregnancy. Thank you.